Hello traders, welcome to Allies Below. This is Tiffany Gogoi, and uh, today I will discuss. Uh, in this video, I will discuss crude oil, and it's a pivot point, market trend, and market range. And I'll discuss where is the entry point and uh, in which direction we can enter for buy or sell. And uh, why we, uh, if we are going for short, so why we are going for short and where will be stop loss and if we are going for long then why we are going for long so everything i will discuss in this video uh, i use a share it once and once you complete so i will start and this is crude oil uh, so first uh, we are uh, discuss about uh, pivot point so you can see i took this 30 minute chart only for intraday uh, pivot point is 3354 first uh, support uh, 3290 second support 3213 third support 3149 first the resistance 3431 second resistance 3495 and third resistance 3572 so first you just see the daily chart so i gave it i think uh, i gave it to you a uh, range uh, uh, crude oil range i think you remember this one so uh, this one the range was there so at that time i told that the market is running like that of, of a few days so if in case they break this level so you go for sell to up to uh, 32 um, uh, 63 level exactly there is that level so i think if you see the yesterday video so you can able to understand what i told you so exactly they came up to uh, 32 63 level so from that area they are just uh, uh, giving a little more correction so what exactly happened in the market uh, this is the market behavior so suppose market came down and running this area like for a few days and if in case they break this level and comes to near supporting level suppose okay this is supporting level what happened again they pull up to near uh, this uh, supporting line and they become a resistant okay so it's uh, maybe happen like that again it will pull back up to this area and again start falling so trend is fully down trend it is very risky to take buy risk okay don't buy any thing but one thing remember never sell in a supporting zone so here you can see this one as supporting zone right so the, in this area don't sell it is a daily so if you see in a small time frame like a 15 minutes so you will able to understand what i'm telling exactly so let me draw um, another um, this one so why i connect a lower point have you seen this one this is the lower point i just connected previously that one uh, resistance so what happened uh, so let me adjust this one so i wanna connect more touches area so you can see last point but i will connect more touches area so here you can see more touches area so if you see in a 30 minute or one hour you'll able to understand that one so okay so here mostly two to three touches area i always find it so here you can see mostly touches area i connected have you seen this one one touch two touch so here it will be a little more above two three four five and here also six touches are here and here you can see one two three touches so this one more strong and this one little more so what happened now let me uh, make it a little more bigger so here you can see now what crude uh, crude price uh, prices uh, what market behavior is it doing you can see so yesterday video i told that when you can see i told that they are bouncing from the 100 moving average have you seen this one this one yellow color this one 100 moving average they are bouncing from yellow next bouncing from uh, 20 moving average and then now start bouncing from where from 100 moving average right so this is this was the uh, selling point okay but target must be there 
32 uh, 63 the point will be here I think around 100 point right 100 point are uh, there and here we can see another thing another supporting zone we reach here this one right now we've got it uh, what called that one uh, support and resistance line so exactly you can see this one is strong now uh, resistance line have you seen strong resistance line because here is 100 moving average and horizontal support uh, supporting line it should become a resistance line so from this area market will falling from this area so when if you sold it here so you book your profit around here right near 20 uh, 32 78 this area so let them break this level if they break this level go for sell again or it will reverse up to this area so one thing uh, you have to see they're creating a higher high if market create higher high so you can see this one low this one low create a high so higher low this one sorry higher high so it may become like this lower high, higher uh, lower high and higher high so up to this area and this will be a strong support uh, sorry resistance right so i think market will stay in this range today uh, if in case they break this range go for uh, short again in below mm, just a minute and up to 23 uh, 29 32 so this is long range uh, it is a long target and if you see in a small time frame 30 minute what happening 30 minute so 30 minute uh, they're creating uh, higher high right higher high so from this area so they are becoming a big uh, support here right so if we use the diagonal horizontal by connecting sorry it is uh, not a diagonal so diagonal line by connecting three point right so, okay just a minute let me be clear yeah so i connecting according to the diagonal method i'm just connecting three point here so you can see one point two point three point and becoming a strong support here and the price is creating higher high and higher low right you can see this is a strong support and in this support never sell if you sold it here is it okay book your profit and come out of hope from the market okay so this is a strong support but cci is confirming it will come down and store stick also confirming it will down so in that case you wait um, in this area so let them break this level or let be confirm that market are trying to reverse again like when cci will cross zero level again here and price will start going up and store stick will be cross each other here like that right it will cross will be like that and you go for buy here and the target will be here around three four nine zero at that time 200 moving average will be a big resistance in this area right if you're going for buy here just keep below stb pps high point and it will be your stop loss target and this this portion will be your target that means it will be around one is to three one is to three ratio right 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.